East 1 and 2 Chronicles is essentially the first two installments of the best-known JRPG franchise made by Nihon Falcom, remade and remastered by Nihon Falcom themselves. The story of the two revolves around a magical land called East, which is watched over by two goddesses, Rhea and Fina. The land and its inhabitants, along with the goddesses, mysteriously vanished. Ever since, all hell breaks loose. It is now up to Adol Kristen, the hero of the franchise, to find the six books of East, the land of East itself, and the two goddesses, and solve the mystery for the greater good. And sorry for the background noise. What you will love about those two games are the simple and addicting gameplay that is a great improvement over the little-known failure that was highlighted. You can pick up and play, but enemies can get punishing at times, especially the well-made bosses that put up a fight, and exploration is a vital key as the games have their own tricks. You will also love the music of the game. All the tracks are beautifully orchestrated and downright very memorable, making the songs a must-have on your MP3 player. You will enjoy Fina's theme more than the Hunger Games' famous Whistletown. The story is the third thing you will love. You will be drawn to the story so much you will anticipate any piece of lore to show up. The tale is intense, heartwarming, too difficult, and pathetic to get disinterested, and very simple to get hooked on. It is that damn good, so cut that too long, didn't read bullshit. Let's all start off by saying nobody's perfect, but luckily there are a few flaws. The only flaw is that in East 2, magic is introduced, and the fire spell is the only thing you'll end up using for its boss fights, excluding the two last ones. But the way strategy is required makes up for those boss fights. I can actually call the next one a full... No, actually, really, I can't. There is not a single mention of an alternative. This is a story-related uh, issue. It, it bothers me. I would appreciate seeing a logical explanation alongside, but I can't go into detail because of spoiler. Finish both East 1 and East 2 to see what I mean, but be warned, you will get a case of the feels. Those one and a half flaws can easily be pushed aside. These games are not worth skipping. Downright memorable, addicting, and rewarding at times, East 1 and 2 are these types of games that will leave you wanting more, and thankfully East 1 and 2 Chronicles isn't the only game in the franchise brought to the PC via Steam. You also have East Origins and East Oath and Falcana, which I will play those titles in a moment. However, East 1 and 2 Chronicles is a definite must-buy.